Hey, good morning, world. How y'all doing out there today? I certainly hope and pray that all is well. And certainly it's a, a great opportunity just to continue to, to share with you my story, my life journey, as it pertains to what the Lord has brought me from and where I currently am placed in my life right now and where I'm believing ultimately to be in the future. Because if God did it for me, and certainly he'll do the same thing for you. Because I don't believe that he has a respect of a person. But I do um, believe that you have to see yourself already being, see yourself already doing, and already having uh, the very things that you desire. Uh, because I, I believe that most individuals um, desire more and, and to be more. But they have to see themselves beyond where they already are. And so um, for me and my wife, that opportunity came uh, in 1999. Yes, in 1999. Um, we had bought our first house in 1993. And um, at this particular point, my wife was uh, pregnant with our third child. And we thought it was time for an upgrade. Yes, an upgrade. And so uh, we had already purchased her a, a new car just a few years earlier. And uh, again, she was pregnant with our third child. And uh, it was time for us to start looking for a larger house. And so I called my real estate agent and I, I shared with her uh, what my wife and I had discussed as it relates to um, purchasing a larger house. Now, mind you, you all, uh, this was really going to take a leap of faith. I mean, uh, uh, launch sort of into the deep um, because we were sort of uh, beginning to, to tread on uncharted territories because, you know, we had been in this one particular house for a little over five years. And so um, uh, it was going to take a leap to, to stretch out and to believe God for more. And we did exactly that. And so uh, the real estate agent uh, began to show us around to, to various houses. And, and if you have ever uh, been in a market to purchase a house, you know that house hunting and can be a very tedious process. But you have to endure it until you find a property that you uh, desire to have. It's going to meet your, your family needs. And so we continue to search. And this one particular uh, occasion, uh, my wife, she didn't go with us um, to view houses. So the agent and I, um, we uh, found this particular house and uh, we drove up to the to the driveway. I really liked the curb appeal. And before I had even got out of her vehicle, I said to her, I believe this is it. You know, sometimes you just know um, on the inside, this, this inner, I guess, Intuition, if you will, uh, you just sort of know um, when things um, uh, things are going to happen. Uh, you just know within yourself that you know this is it. And so I had that feeling on the inside. And so uh, she opened up the door, and the house on the inside was everything that I thought it would be. I mean, it was nice, and but that was one problem that we were facing with the house. It was more than we could afford. And remember, I mentioned to you earlier about uh, the car payment that um, we had when I bought my wife the automobile just a, a few years earlier. And uh, my wife is blessed to, to be carrying our, our third child. And now we're in the market for this upgrade. And the price was more than we could afford. So what did I do? You know, sometimes, you know, fear creeps in. And um, uh, I, I did what I knew to do. I prayed. I said, Lord, bless us with a house that we can't afford at a price that we can. I'm going to say this again for possible penetration because I'm trying to help somebody today. I said, Lord, bless us with a house that we cannot afford at a price that we can. And so after uh, that, my 
my wife and I, we visited the house together. So my wife went into the house and she was uh, astonished and sort of blown away just like I was. You know, she saw the house and it was everything that we desired to have as it relates to uh, an upgrade. And she was pleased with the house. And so uh, after we both uh, agreed upon the house, uh, the real estate agent, uh, she submitted the contract. So when she submitted the contract, uh, we were sort of negotiating the price. And again, if you've you know bought a house, you know you know that they, there are uh, particular processes that you have to go through in order to, to get the contract agreed upon and ratified. And so once we got the contract uh, ratified and we had a, a price that we were uh, both the, us as the buyers and the sellers uh, agreed upon, uh, the agent, my real estate agent, revealed unto my wife and I that the house, mm -hmm, the house that we agreed upon, on, the upgrade, right, it appraised for $7,000 more than the agreed upon sale price. Again, the house appraised for seven thousand dollars more than the agreed upon selling price. What does this mean? What does it mean to me and my wife? It simply meant that when the agent told us that, she also revealed unto us that if the house had a sold at the appraised price, we wouldn't have been able to afford it. Again, if the house had sold at the appraised price, we wouldn't have been able to afford it. And so um, at that particular time, you know, we, we, we closed um, on the house and uh, we were satisfied. We were pleased. But I want to share with you something that I learned in that particular process. And it was this. Never allow what you see to deter you from what you want. I'm going to say that again. Never allow what you see to deter you from what you want. Why? Because we can easily be discouraged by what we see. Especially when it comes to like in our particular situation, when it came to buying uh, the upgraded house. When uh, your resources, perhaps, are not there, are not available, you have to trust God. That's why we are encouraged to walk by faith and not by sight. Because what we see with the natural eye can really turn us off. We can be discouraged by what we see. So again, as you continue to grow... In your life's journey, as you continue to, to dream big, do not allow what you see to deter you from what you want. You can do it. Yes, you can. We got the upgrade. We were satisfied with the upgrade. And so I hope that someone was encouraged today. I hope that someone was motivated by today on today. I hope someone was inspired on today by my life journey, uh, by, by the upgrade of the house that me and my wife desired to have. And just know that the Lord will give you the desires of your heart if you just delight yourself in him. And so um, I want to encourage you to uh, continue to stay focused, uh, continue to stay motivated, Continue to stay encouraged. And please, share the video. Like the video. Wherein, if you were encouraged by the video, that give somebody else the opportunity to be encouraged. So share it with them. And like the video. And again, if you're not going to dream big, don't dream at all. So it is until we meet again. Uh, I certainly hope and encourage you to have a, a wonderful day. A, a marvelous day, a magnificent day. And God bless you until we come to you again.